Okay, so I'm gonna fast forward through this. The first 40 something minutes is the waiting room. So that's all you hear in the background. You hear the activity taking place in the waiting room. Some of you might have been entertained by that. But for a second time.
That's kind of it. Oh, okay. woke me up at 5 a.m. with her boyfriend hanging out beneath me. The motherfucker is hiding his car and staying in the apartment downstairs. So they have this Invega shot that you know I'm normally ask. You normally hear Michelle Carson ask me about it. You know that I haven't been on it since probably October of last year, so a year ago. And they have this as an active non VA med. Barger. 
I apologize. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I had put in a wrong date for somebody to come back and front desk was messaging me. <laughs> All righty. And you were previously seeing Michelle, I'm guessing? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you joined us. And yeah, before Michelle left, she let me know that I'd be seeing some of her uh, veterans. So. You aren't retiring anytime soon, are you? 
No, ma'am. <laughs> Not even close. I wasn't happy about her leaving. I don't think anyone was. I wasn't happy either. No. So. How long did you see her for? Um, let's see. I've been seeing her since 2017, so roughly five years. Okay. Almost. Yeah. So I've been here five years. Really? So, and um, I don't plan on retiring or moving or anything anytime soon. Where'd you come from? I worked in the private sector previously. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's neat. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see. You saw Michelle about a year ago. Yes. Okay. Great. And I'm just looking at her last note here. All right, and then I was supposed to see her in April before she retired, but I had car problems, so I got here a little late, and they couldn't take me. Okay, now I understand. Yeah, that helps out greatly. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, because Michelle. And it, looking back, it looks like she would see you every six months. One was women's health and one was a regular appointment. Correct. Right? Correct. Yeah, we'll probably keep that going. Let's see when you're due for your next pap. Do I have to get one? Not today. <laughs> <laughs> well, eat later. Do I have to? Like, how Eventually. long can I? Yeah. Yeah. It's 19, 20, 21. You are actually due for one. She told me I could put it off for about three to five years. So you had one of 17, so, five yeah. years. Yeah. That makes it 2022. Did I just get one here? Let, like, um, I feel let, me look, let me look at when she last did one. No. Are you thinking a year ago? Yeah. Looks like she did an exam, but a path wasn't done. Okay. I'll tell you what, you're not prepared for it today. <laughs> it's not my typical women's health day anyway. So how about next spring? Next spring. That sounds good. About six months from now. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. I also, I'll be completely honest, it's your first day meeting me. Yeah. I usually, on the first days, I usually do not do pap smears. Okay. It's unless you're specifically sent for your provider on a women's health day that we're going to do just that and you expect it. I, no surprises that way. Okay. Okay? That's Would that fair. be okay? Yeah, that's fair. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so let's see here. Let me do a couple of different things here. We'll go through some questions just because get to know you just a little better with a few things. Okay. Do you see any providers outside the meeting? No. And then, what branch did you serve? Army. Army, and what year? Um, from 2002 to 2014. Um, right. Split service though, so okay. I was active duty for a short time, and mm -hmm. then the rest was National Guard. Okay, no problem. And what did you do when you were in? Food service, supply, and I was supposed to reclass to a well mechanic, but I never got to go to school for it. it was, okay. It was weird. <laughs> so it was pri primarily food service and yes. supply? Okay. And then since discharge, um, what have you done? Uh, did you go to school, just working? Um, yes, I was self-employed for a short period of time. I went to school. I'm back in school now. Okay. Um, what are you going to school for now? Psychology. Great. Yeah. Okay, great. How long do you have left? Um, let's see, maybe seven, eight months. Wow, you're getting close. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, married, divorced, single, widow? Um, single. Single? Yes. Any kids? No. smoke or use tobacco? Occasionally I have a cigar. Okay. How often is occasionally? 
Um, probably once a week, once a month. Once a week. Once so a week. about four times a month. Okay. Any alcohol? Yes. How many drinks per day, week, or month would you guess? About I drink about three days a week. Um, okay. I have one to two drinks. Okay. Alrighty. So weird. I never go over two. I don't know how it just it works that way. Mm-hmm. No problem. So you say two drinks three times a week, correct? Correct. Okay. Any illicit drugs or marijuana? No. And then, um, next couple of questions I asked more for hepatitis C risk. Any tattoos? Yes. Okay. And then ever had a blood transfusion? No. And then do you do anything for um, exercise? Anything specific for exercise? Um, I walk. Great. How often? Daily. Daily, good. Yeah. Dedicated walking time? Dedicated walking time, but Fantastic. it's during, it's not always the same time of day. But That's it is okay. dedicated. Sometimes I'm walking like 3, 4 a.m. Okay. <laughs> hey, if that works for you, that's great. I have issues sleeping. Okay. Right. Yeah. So you get up and try to exercise. Yeah. Did you walk outside or try to? Outside. Outside? Okay. Yeah. Occasionally I walk around in my apartment, but it's so small, you know, like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like being outdoors. Good. All right. So, family history. Okay. Um, mom, dad, brothers, sisters, anybody with any cancers? No. Uh, diabetes? Mm, my grandmother. Which side? Mom's side. Okay. Um, anybody with high blood pressure? Um, I think my mom may have made some that. Okay. Um, how about anybody with a heart attack, um, heart disease? My mother has had a heart attack. Okay. And stroke. Anyone with a stroke? My mother. Okay. How old was your mother? I swear, God hates us. Like, the worst attacks. <laughs> oh. Um, how old was your mother when she had her heart attack? She was 47, I believe. And then for you, any chest pain, shortness of breath? No. Dizziness or passing out? No. Any blood in your stools, dark, yucky stools? Ew, no. No? Okay. <laughs> and I have noticed lately, um, uh -huh. more than a couple of times a week, my stool is really loose. Okay. It, it's not solid. So are you familiar with that? Like what? So it depends. Um, any on those days, how many bowel movements during the day are you having? Two. Just two? Yes, okay. just two. So not uncontrolled, not having accidents. No. Okay. And you said it's not every day. Correct. Okay. Any constipation in between? Um, occasionally there's um periods. It is not the same. Because I keep track of this stuff at home. It's not the same. It, um, it's, it's more so periodic. So it wouldn't take place in the same week. It would probably be like every two weeks. Okay. You know, I experience You get a little constipated constipation. every couple of weeks. Yeah. But you have um, loose stools a couple days a week. Yes. Every week. Yes. Okay. And I was disturbed by it. It just started about six or seven months ago. Okay. And... anything you eat um no okay I, that's what I was looking for too I was okay. like it doesn't add up I don't know okay um 
other things I think about now when we say liquid stool mm -hmm. um, diarrhea liquid like completely liquid or no. just mushy no just mushy and um, chopped up mushy and chopped up okay all right so a couple things I think about with that okay. um, as long as we're getting solid stools in between um, that's a good thing okay uh, looking at things you eat can do it. Some people tend to have it with dairy or other things. Yeah. The best way to get consistent stool would be do a fiber supplement. Okay. 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 Usually we talk Metamucil or Silly. I was going to say, how do you feel about Metamucil? Yeah, great. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I can send you some if you want it from here. Yes. It give it a try. Um, Sometimes we have the orange flavored, which isn't bad. Okay. Sometimes it's the bad flavor. It's not bad flavor. It's just unflavored. Unflavored. <laughs> the best way to do it, um, follow the directions on it. Uh, put it in juice or water. Okay. If you let it sit, it becomes more solid. Okay. So I would say drink it pretty quickly. Uh-huh. Um, you don't have diabetes, so you could probably do it in juice. Okay. How do you feel about Miralax? Miralax is fine. Okay. Miralax is fine as well. Because I actually, I have Miralax at home. I brought this thing at months ago and haven't touched it. I'm like, when I started seeing the loose stool, I'm like, I don't want to add to the problem, you know? So right, like, right. And Miralax is more likely to add to the problem. Yeah. I would say psyllium. Let me send you some. Okay. But yeah, I have no problem. Um, do you take stool softeners, laxatives, anything like that? No. Good, good. Because that's just going to, honestly, that's going to make things a little more wishy-washy. Yeah. Um, the good news. I've just been paying attention to my body. That's great. That's great. You know it better than anyone else. Yeah. So the nice thing about psyllium is it tends to add bulk to stools. So it can make the looser stools Stool more solid, together. okay. but it also can make the constipation not as bad either. Perfect. So it can kind of even those things out. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. Okay. So I'm going to put in using it daily. Okay. Okay. Um, one of the things that you want to remember if it doesn't work daily you can use it twice a day okay you need to put in at least eight ounces of liquid juice or water doesn't matter whichever works for you and um what else with it? it's just drink plenty of water drink water yep. yeah because it can constipate you if you don't put enough water in there i understand okay All right, swelling in your feet or ankles at all? No. Good, and then any thoughts of hurting yourself or anyone else? No. Okay. But I am, um, I'm experiencing some odd things. Okay. So I am gonna schedule an appointment with mental health before I leave today. Great. Like, it's so weird. Sure. Have you ever heard of anyone putting on five to six pounds overnight? A lot of times putting on weight overnight like that is more water weight. Um, but that much? Not typically. Yeah. Okay. And that's occurring that you're... Yes. Okay. How often is that? Did it just happen once or... This just happened today. Like, I, I weigh in every morning. Mm -hmm. I obviously, you, if you look at my history, mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. The amount of fat that I put on for someone as active as I am. Sure. And, you know, I don't have bad eating habits. Mm -hmm. It is just nothing adds up. And I'm getting these massive amounts of weight overnight. Okay. Generally, five to six pounds. Okay. When I weighed in yesterday, I was five, uh, 238. Okay. Okay. Or wait, no, no. I was 235 yesterday. 235. Yes. Yeah. And did you weigh in on your scale this morning? Yes, I did. I was 238. At home? Yes, before I came here. Okay. And then I got here and it said 241 and I'm like. Don't, don't, don't compare what you see here to home. 
Two different scales, two different scales calibrated. Yeah. You're up, you're moving, you have clothes on. Yeah. You, that is not apples to apples. Right. So totally wipe out what today was. Here. Right. Okay. okay. That does not count. Reason is if you weigh on your scale every day, naked, naked. about the same yes. time every day, yeah. that's what you monitor. That. Yeah. That's what you monitor. 241, no. Okay. Um, so a couple things. Well, let's see here. Let's go through medicines. Okay. You're taking, are you still taking the amitriptyline? Um, the amitriptyline, is that for sleep? Yes. I'm out of it. Okay. Did it help when you were taking it? At first it did, and then I would, it got to a point where when I take it, it never kick in. Okay. So it mean like I literally go without sleep. Okay. I, that's what you were, you were seeing in the ER for that. Correct? Yes, for okay. not getting sleep, it, yeah. it's so bad. Okay. What would you suggest for like insomnia or no sleep, like something over the counter or? Well, I have a bunch more questions before we get there. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you said when you started taking the amitriptyline, it did help. Yes, at first. At first, okay. I believe I was prescribed 30 pills. So we're gonna say that of the 30 pills, that maybe eight to 10 worked. Okay, all right. Okay, now as for sleeping, um, do you, how many hours a night do you sleep? I'm not getting any sleep at night. Okay, so you're I'm staying getting, up 24-7? Yeah, some days. Okay, okay. And it's exhausting. Okay. Um, when I get sleep, it's normally during, like, the hours of the morning that I be most active. That's why it's a problem. So okay. I'm getting sleep between 8 a.m. and noon. Okay. Sometimes 6 well, no, not really. So, yeah. Okay. I get tired of watching the sun come up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is your typical routine in the evening? Do you get ready for bed and lay down no matter what? Yes. Yep. Yes, okay. I always try to go to sleep. Okay. What time do you tend to try to go to sleep? Midnight. Midnight? Okay. Yeah. Alright, and then how long do you typically stay down before you get back up? Um, at midnight? Mm -hmm. or, unless I have to go to the restroom, I'll stay in bed. Oh, you'll stay in bed all night? Yes, and I keep my eyes closed so my eyes are rested, you know, like uh -huh. I try to combat, you know, sure. <laughs> what's taking place okay. by keeping my eyes closed. So I've never been able to lay here and stare at the film in. Okay, good. So you just close your eyes and you rest, and then you notice um, when do you then get out of bed? When if I have to go to the restroom. Okay. Um, occasionally, um, I'll get up and grab my laptop and probably like read a chapter or two. Okay. Um, but that's it. That's it. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing to do that time of morning. Like sometimes I'll get tired of it and go for a walk. Okay. You know, but other than okay. that, I'm in bed. Okay, great. I try not to go to my laptop because I know that's kind of counterproductive, you know, yep. like, good, but that's good when I can't, I can't. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm losing even more time in the day, you know, like, so sure. I got to try to be active at some point. Mm Yesterday. 
Okay. Yesterday I slept um, during a normal hour, and it was weird. I didn't. I slept from like probably midnight to 4 a.m. Okay. And I got up, used the bathroom, and went back to sleep. Last okay. night, did I get to sleep at a decent hour? No, it was 3 a.m. But I did get to sleep, but I was back up at 5. Okay. So, Which is uncommon. The last two days have not been like, like regular right right for you. Place. Yeah. Okay. And you don't feel rested when you're sleeping, I take it. Okay. I'm absolutely exhausted. Like, that's why I went to the ER room. Mm -hmm. But I can't keep running there for it either. Right, right. Never been told you snore. Um,. No, but I know that I do when I'm exhausted. Okay. So let's say um, if I have a full day mm -hmm. and I go to sleep, I, I got a full day, so I'm exhausted. I'll snore. Mm -hmm. um, I record myself sleep sometimes just okay. to make sure, you know, because now I, no one's ever around me. Mm -hmm. I haven't been around people in five years. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you okay. know, no one's in bed to tell me. Okay. So I occasionally listen to myself. Um, one thought is with this, one of my questions from the medical side is sleep apnea. Okay. Okay. So I would suggest a sleep study. The nice okay. thing about sleep studies is they're done at home now. Really? So I'll put in a consult, you get contacted, they tell you what to do, they ship you the machine, you use it, mm -hmm. box it back up and you send it. Really? And then you follow up with sleep. A sleep provider. They do come down here. Now. How um, how long is the study for? Like, will just they, overnight. Just once. Yeah. What if I sleep? <laughs> that would no, night. So that with a sleep study, we want you to sleep because what it does is it measures, actually measures your oxygen levels. It measures how many times you wake up how many times you fall back asleep, what kind of sleep you get. It's pretty cool. Okay. So we want you to sleep during it. Okay. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. So let's, let me order a sleep study. Now, have you ever seen mental health in the past? Yes, I have. When was that? Um, 2017. Okay. I think I might have seen them. So it's not been anything recently? No. Would you want to meet with them today when um, you're done? With me? No, I'm going to make an appointment though. Okay. Just out of curiosity, any particular reason you don't want to meet with them today? Um, no. Okay. That's fine. I mean, can they just fit me in like that? Do so you'll meet with the nurse to begin with, Tammy, and then if they can fit you in, one of the providers will see you. Um, you'll start off with primary care mental health here. Mm -hmm. um, let me reach out to Tammy and see if she can at least meet with you. That allows, she talks to you, gets some information, and then they may be able to fit you in a little bit sooner doing that. That works. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. amitriptyline is I'm going to recommend uh, mental health okay. seeing you first okay. because if there's other things going on yeah that may be more beneficial to get you on the right medicine than right. me just giving you what didn't necessarily work right is that make sense? That does. Feelings of anxiety or depression? No. Okay. Okay. All righty. Um, 
not using the stool softener, the doc you say? No. Okay. okay. And are you using the melatonin at all? Um, sometimes. Okay. Yeah, like when I get really, really, you know, just tired of going through it, I'll okay. go to that, but it doesn't. I'm not getting any results from it. Okay. What I'm going to recommend with the melatonin is I recommend you take two tablets. Okay. Okay. I want you to take two tablets. They're three milligrams, right? So it's six. Six total. No more than that. Okay. You're going to take them about an hour or so before bed. The melatonin is very, very, very mild. Okay. So don't expect it to knock you out. Okay. Now I want you to try taking it every night and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Even if you're not exhausted, even if you have slept the night before. Okay. We'll do. I don't know why I didn't think of that. No, it's don't okay. worry. It's all right. <laughs> and then let's see. Let me still look at. Did you do labs before today? Um, the last lab I have had was in April. April. We're gonna get some updated labs. Okay. And then you still have your injections, correct? No. Okay. I saw that was, um, I haven't been on that in like over a year. I don't okay. know why it's showing as active. Because uh, nobody canceled it as well. Okay. Very good. Right? Correct. And it was the last time we got it done, she was trying to follow up on my vitamin D. Or yeah. Uh, yeah, just make sure the number got up. And it did. It, well, yeah, it got way up because I pulled the um I had the lab printed myself. <laughs> or I got the record myself. So I okay. even though I didn't get to speak with Michelle, mm -hmm. I did see that the levels were up. Oh yeah, a lot higher than they were. Absolutely. They weren't quite normal but they did come up so that's good yeah all right would you be okay with doing last today so that's we can fine. look into everything all right so we're just going to kind of do a little of everything and check kidneys liver okay okay uh complete blood count which looks for uh anemia okay iron levels I'm gonna check your thyroid levels, your B12, your vitamin yes. D. Cause, yeah, I didn't have a thyroid issue last time. You did? Did not. Did not. Okay. No, I was gonna say I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I was it was in, something. It was within normal range, but it was up from what I pre it previously was. Okay. And that's not abnormal to see our thyroid level fluctuate. That's what I'm saying. This bad thing doesn't make sense. And I, like I said, I want to speak with mental health because I'm experiencing some things that go along with it. You know, okay. it's accompanied by what else? By that accompanies that for you? Um, cursing and spelling. So um, I hear voices. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the voice to skull era. Do you recall that? The what? Voice to skull era. Do you, okay. Do you recall okay. when that was? Yeah, now you never hear anything about those people, but you hear the label of schizophrenia is still being thrown around, like um, even more predominantly than before. Um, but I hear voices, so the cursing, the spelling, you know, the, I'm being remotely harassed okay. constantly. Okay. Um, and I feel things I, that they're doing to my body. So when these fat injections like take place, I feel it being done and I'm being harassed about it. Okay. Okay. Seeing anything that others don't see? No, it's just hearing things that others don't hear. Yes. And 
you said, um, so you said there's cursing? Yeah, cursing. Um, I call it cursing because um, it, it's kind of, it, it appears to be some type of voodoo, the way that um, a lot of the language is arranged. Um, and it's always um, negative. Okay. You know, the, the nature of their dialogue is always negative. Okay. Wouldn't that be something if it finally came out that federal agents have been harassing the entire population of people th that they call schizophrenia? Hmm. Or schizophrenic? the fact it just keeps going on and on and on no matter how active I am I sleep in this waist trainer that I have on on top of walking you okay. know like and it's it's disturbing they're trying to completely humiliate me with fat like when I've been taking pictures of this entire journey mm -hmm. um, and like you can see how my body has been completely augmented. Okay. It's nothing like it was before. Okay. okay. Now, looking back, you were on the shots a long time ago, you said? Yes. Okay. Now, were you seeing someone outside the VA at that time? Um, I was on probation. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. and it was mental health court that I, mm -hmm. so the okay. two, two kind of went together. Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. I wasn't sure. All right. So I do I do think mental health is a good place to start. I, I commend you for moving forward with that. I yeah, really do. Yeah, it, it's getting to a point where it's, I, it, it's completely out of control. When it gets to a point where you can't care for yourself like you normally would, mm -hmm. like it affects the way I bend and everything. Mm -hmm. And Check you over and we'll get you over with Tammy, okay? Okay. All right. So you are due for a path, but we will bring you back for that. was elevated this time. Yeah. We'll recheck it. Okay. Did she put in the number for the what she got manually? Um I have the 140 one over one one. Yeah. yeah. I saw that. Or anything to prevent pregnancy or using any form of birth control? No. Okay. 
Just abstinence. Yeah. Abstinence, I was gonna say, are completely, you sexually active? Completely not doing it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Any, do you wanna become pregnant in the next year? I don't no. wanna become pregnant ever. Ever, okay. <laughs> I do not wanna be a mom. All right. Let's Um, did you get a flu shot or do you normally get flu shots? No. Okay. Okay, let's check you over and I'll recheck your bubble. You can stay right there. Okay. Just do it. Okay, I'm going to scoot your hair aside here a little bit. Okay. Sorry, I'm running okay. into it. <laughs> Still running up there. Is it? What did you get? I got one sixty over. Oh, 100. Ah, I got you all excited talking oh. about stuff. I was so mad when I came in here. You know, like the fat thing is really okay. Like my appearance, like it mm -hmm. is crazy. Let's look at what your previous blood pressures were. Now your blood pressures have run up for quite a while. It looks like. Yeah, I was in better numbers at home, so she, she was kind of telling me that's why we had such a slow, you know. I gotcha. I gotcha. So, um, are you still checking it at home? No, not as of late. Okay. So would you be opposed to taking something for blood pressure to see if we could get a little bit better numbers? I really don't want to, but maybe we could so do something really low. So we can try that. We can do one of two things. Okay. We can bring you back in a couple weeks to retry. Okay. Um, the other thing we can do is we can try something low. Okay. What I would what I would recommend to start off with it's called hydrochlorothiazide. Okay. Um, basically, it affects you through your kidneys. Okay. To help reduce blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Some people actually it acts as a diuretic or it helps take off extra fluid sometimes for some people. Okay. Um, up to you if you want to try it. Hmm. It, even though I'm getting low or decent numbers at home, every time I come in here, it's like skyrocket. But it it will okay. constantly comes down. So let's do this. How about this? Let's wait on the blood pressure medicine. Okay. You have a blood pressure cuff at home to try? Yes. Take your blood pressure once a day, okay. about the same time a day after you've been sitting and relaxing at home. Okay. Keep track of those numbers. I'll put in a return for you to come back in for a blood pressure check in two weeks. Okay. Bring those numbers with you. Okay. And then we'll see what it hit, what it looks like. That sounds like a plan. Is that all right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Do you have 
have a preference. Like I have a cuff. Uh huh. And I have the wrist one. Like okay. So. Uh, did you ever get one from us? Yes, the okay. cup is from you guys. Use that one. Okay. And then also when you come in to have it rechecked, bring that with you and we'll compare it to ours. If it's not accurate, yes, we'll the get you a new one. Perfect. All right, so I think I've got about everything done. Uh, okay. I did let Tammy know, so I'm just waiting to see what she wants to do. Good swallow. Good. And Tammy's the mental health nurse. Okay. All right. Now, I usually refer to my uh, veterans by Miss or Mister with their last name. Is there something you prefer to go by? No. Okay. No. You'll come in in six months for a women's health visit with me, okay? Okay. And we'll do a cap then. So we're looking about April. Yeah, it's I, been a while. I changed my name back to my birth name. So now what do you go by? Tequila. Tequila. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> she asked okay. me, and I went, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> now I just wanted to make sure. Okay. So are you all done? I'm all done. Okay. So you're interested in some sleep medicine or sleep? Help. Yeah. Um, help. Help. Yeah. Right, there you go. Okay. Well, let's go. We'll, we'll fix you up. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Don't forget your last before you go. I'll remind okay. her. Thank Mr. you, Tammy. Okay. Okay. Right this way. Right behind you. Okay. 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 Yeah, so um, yeah, we can certainly help with any kind of sleep issues. Okay. Yeah. So right this way. Okay. Come on in, have a seat. It's been a long, long time since I saw you. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay. So I just need you to verify your full name and the last four of your social, if you don't mind. No problem. Tequila Oliver, eight 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 two. We got an easy one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All those eight. <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably the only number I hate writing. Really? Well, because I can't write it well. So, like this year, I write, I do a circle over a circle. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so, anyways. Okay, so, um, so our department, you know, is called Primary Care Mental Health Integration. Okay. So, you can meet with one of our nurse practitioners today, if you okay. like, or we can make an appointment. So that's my name, Tammy, phone number extension. I work with Lindsay. Okay. And then the new Veterans Crisis Hotline number is just 988, and then you press number one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that so it makes it easier. Yeah. Okay, so did you want to see someone today, or did you want to make an appointment? It's up to you. How soon would the appointment be? So we're not going to be far out, are we? We're booking about four weeks out. About four weeks out? I can do that. So you prefer to make an appointment? Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Um, hold on, let me see. One second. What? 
That's it. I mean, it's okay. But if it's need a, be, I can see someone today? You get it right now. It's up to you. I was so angry when I came in. Because she has an appointment at 11, so she saw you, you'd be, you know, you'd be, you'd be out of here by 11. Right, right. It's um, up to you, though. I like to see someone. Okay, great. So, to keep, so I don't want to take up all your time. Yeah. This clipboard here. And actually, the pen here. I can't reach that. Okay. Okay. Um, just is a is a screening tool. Just a anxiety and depression screen. Just okay. to kind of see where you're at. Are you interested in counseling or medication for sleep? Counseling. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and do that, and we'll go from oh, there. This one's bleeding a little bit. Oh, it is. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Okay. So, um, oh yeah, it was bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gracious. So what do you do with yourself now? What do you do to keep yourself busy? School. Oh, where are you going to school? Online, University of Phoenix. Okay, what yeah. are you studying? Psychology. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. But it's very interesting. It is. I'm glad. So. Yeah. It keeps me busy though. Keeps you out of trouble, huh? Keeps me out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. So how much further do you got to go? About seven, eight months. Oh, okay. Good yeah. golly. That was fast. Yeah. Well I started I took a leave of absence in two thousand and seventeen. Oh okay. so I had already been enrolled for some time, but Oh wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, and then is your uh, phone number and address correct in the computer? Tell yes. Tell your, 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 your phone number. 234-956-0872. And your address? 315 Uplet Avenue, apartment up, Akron, Ohio, 44301. Perfect, okay. I'm getting all my mail at my P.O. box, though. Like, are, would, oh, okay. Would you, oh, yeah, which no, I just, no, I've seen that the VA's mail has been coming there, so that's good. It's been forwarded. Good. Okay. I just want to make sure that I always check with everybody because you never know. It's amazing how many people I capture, and it's just like, oh my gosh, no, I moved. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me see. We'll put this here. That. Um, you have our contact information. Yeah. So basically, Lindsay can uh, talk with you, do an assessment. And if you're looking for specific counseling for yes. um, sleep, she can make the referral to specialty mental health, which is in the annex building. Okay. Um, and she can help you. That's why come through the door. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello. Great. Okay. Well, it's so nice to see you. You Hello, too. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. You take good luck with your schooling. Thanks. You have a great day. You too. Would you like this call? You can leave it open. Okay. Thanks a lot. No problem. Hello. How are you? Good, and you? Good. So, I'm Lindsay. I'm one of the mental health nurse practitioners. Okay. You no, know, Tammy kind of gave me a, 
I hear that you're for sleep. Are you concerned about sleep? <laughs> yes, I have okay. concerns about sleep, um, but I also have concerns about <clears throat> Okay, look. So I'm There's 16 minutes left. I need to make sure that I'm not going to run out of storage and potentially lose this entire video. Um, just because they stole a video yesterday. Um, so I just need to to make sure that I capture everything. This next part of this appointment is the part that I want you to pay close attention to. They ne She never scheduled the appointment and they just carried on like um, it never happened. And I didn't call in either. Um, you'll hear me saying it, say during this meeting that it was about me putting information on file regarding the neighbors. Um, you know, like the things that were being done. And they, they knew what that meant. They knew I was going to tell all of them. They panicked right away. Like, and I'm talking about the remote end of it. So that's the federal agents that were surveilling at the time. They panicked right away. And they said that they couldn't have that happen. Um, so I waited, you know, about a week or two. Never got that. Um, I did finally get the sleep apnea. It's another thing that I didn't get right away when I was supposed to. Um, but I eventually got it and then they corrupted that, you know, and I never got to take the test. They magically removed the, the batteries, I believe, if I recall correctly. But, you know, that's all documented somewhere else. So let me stop this.